So, Flurry, what do you think is in this room? Tell me your story! What do you mean you think it's a game show? That's stupid! <laughs> I'm Game Guy. It's time for a game show. <laughs> I mean, let's play Paper Mario the Thousand Year Door! We gotta talk to a thwomp again! Elevator key to the computer room. I thought so. You're gonna have to beat me to get it. And the only way to beat me is by game show. Because that's how thwomps work in this universe. You can't actually fight thwomps. I mean, they're thwomps. That's just how it works, right? I'm pretty sure. All right, Flurry. You're half embedded in the podium because there's not a ton of room in here, but it's the 66th annual quirk quiz. You gotta get five correct answers to the following questions, and then you win, win, win! Uh, but if you get just three wrong answers, you're toast! Delicious buttery toast! And you don't want to be that, because people will eat you up. Uh, number one. Uh, exactly what's hidden here? A... A monkey. <laughs> I, I don't remember most of these answers, to be honest. It's great. There's an elevator key here somewhere, I'm sure. Besides, you said that on the way in. Yarg, you're correct, crud! Oh, but that was an easy one. You won't do so well on the next one, I guarantee that. Uh, here you go, sucker! Alright, whatever you say, guy. Mm, question two. What's the name of the girl in Petalburg who's waiting patiently for Coop's return? Uh, clearly it's Flavio. <laughs> Clearly. Yar, you're correct, crud! Mm, but that was an easy one. You want to do so well on the next one, I guarantee that. Ah, here we go, sucker. Mm. Ah, question three. Goomba, Lava, Bubble, Buzzy, Beetle, and Boo. How many feet do they have total? Uh, well, D feet, because I killed all of them! <laughs> oh, math is hard. <laughs> Three strikes and you're out, loser. Oh, okay, fine. All right, let's see. Question four. It's elementary for non-idiots. Where was the one, the only diamond star? As if I remember where, the, like, each individual colored star is. Uh, is this the one in Hooktail? I don't remember. Okay, I guess it was the, the one in Hooktail. Like, I don't remember what color they are. It was obviously, like, the white one. Well, uh, yes, that was an easy one. You will I'll guarantee you that. All right. Now, question five. What was the name of the very first champion of the Glitz Pit Arena? Uh, let's see. Prince Matthew. <laughs> okay, whatever you say. It's Prince Mush, by the way. In case you forgot chapter three. Well, you've already gotten four correct, you're kidding me. Well, fine, I'm gonna toss an extra hard one your way. Oh boy, I can't wait. Question six. What did Francesca and Frankie from Rogueport lose in Keel Hall Key? Well, that's easy. They lost a bling. <laughs> Gosh, and it's very obvious given their accent. Uh, one more slip and you're done for, Junior Nerd. Just one more. Mm, yeah, here we go. Final question. Question seven. Uh, what number question is this? Uh. Oh gosh, I wasn't expecting a question this hard. Um. Uh. Let's see. I got four of them right. It's not four, because I know I've gotten some of them wrong. I've gotten, I think, two wrong, but I don't see two as an answer here. There's a number seven above my podium, but I'm not sure what that's supposed to mean. It could be a trap. It's probably six. Rude. <laughs> you tricked me with your obvious answer. <laughs> How could you do such a thing? Ah, time for punishment, Mr. Wrong. Oh no, these guys! Win a fight and I'll give you the elevator key anyway, but what are the chances? Ah, you have no chance, and that amuses me. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Don't underestimate these guys, by the way. I can't flee this fight. 
Uh, these guys, I don't rem Oh, I probably should have switched to Jumpman so I could actually do anything with Mario that isn't, like, an item or something. But, uh, oh well. Um, these guys are extremely dangerous, by the way, if you're not prepared. Uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and just zest dynamite. Because, uh, I, I ain't messing around with these guys. I've been screwed over by them before. Because, see, uh, seven damage and that didn't kill them. If that's not any indication. I believe they have defense of some kind. Um, but I'm not going to take any chances, and I'm just going to blow them up. Because <laughs> they have an attack that basically stops you. You know, the stop status effect. And then whenever their turn is over, they produce two little mini yucks things. So, um, yeah, I, I'm not messing around with those guys. <laughs> Uh, no! You beat my cute little underlings! How could you? Uh, if you're not as prepared as I was, you could probably just try to kill at least one of them before they have a chance to do much of anything. I don't remember how much HP they have. I want to say it's like 10. I don't remember if they have defense or anything. But uh, those guys are not to be underestimated. <laughs> I mean, normally you could just answer the easy questions and not have to fight them in the first place. But details! Now I got an elevator key. All right. Well, now that that shenanigans is done, let us move on. Because now we can use the uh, the second elevator, in case you couldn't figure out what the purpose of the elevator key was. Uh, I actually, instead of going immediately there, I'm going to head back to level one and use the heart block real quick. So I'll be back in a second. All right. Down to sub-level two. I didn't really need to use the heart block, but I also wanted to save, so, I mean, it's what it is. Uh, which room was it that had the thing? Uh, not this one. This is not the room in question. It is not! Not, I say! It is a knot. You, you just, you tie a knot, you know, you just... It's two ropes that you just kind of tie together to form a thing. I don't, I don't, I don't know what I'm trying to say. Uh, for some reason, I've forgotten how to super jump. <laughs> I don't know why, but I did, and I am sorry. Anyway, if you go over this way, you can find that there's another grating here. This goes down to the changing room, right? Bobbery. Come on, get, get down here, please. <laughs> oh, man, it's an Easter egg of some kind. I am now all 8-bit and whatever. What is this, Mario Maker? I don't know, man. It's a thing that exists. Hot dogs, you're weird looking. <laughs> it, it's it's a thing. Okay, well, now that I've shown that off, we can move on. Um, I believe I can go in here. Yes. There, there's another one of those guys here that, if you want to fight them, but obviously I don't. I don't remember if there's anything in Grotus's room. Other than the scariest wall in the world. And actually there is because there's a card key here. And I was going to need that anyway. Alright, so. Let's escape from the scariest room in the world. With its uh, freaking fish tank of death. And uh, just run away from this guy. Yeah, because I, I don't like fighting those guys. They're pretty pretty dangerous. So, uh, I'm just going to pass. <laughs> here, have an elevator key. Now we can use the elevator that takes us down lower. Um, I'm trying to remember. Sub-level so 4 is where Peach's room and Tech's room were. Tech is dead. I don't remember if there's anything down there, but I'm going to check that first. Because I believe uh, sub-level 3 is where we're going to need to like finish the job, quote-unquote. Um, let's see... I, I just don't remember if there's anything down here. Oh, the door's locked, so I can't even get in there anyway. I believe I can get into Peach's room, though. I mean, Mario shouldn't know that it's Peach's room, but, I mean, details. It even has the Peach room music, which I think is kind of weird. All right, now Mario can take- Ah! There's a guy peeking in the shower. Let's not take a shower. <laughs> That's scary. That's just too scary for me, man. This is too scary. All right, well, now that that is done, let's go back to sub-level 3. I say back to sub-level 3, even though we've never actually been there, but details. Okay. So I know our end goal is over to the right, so I'm going to start going to the left. Oh, no, a regular X-naught. 
What is he doing here? Probably should switch to Jumpman at some point, because, uh... Uh... This, this just ain't really doing it. Quake Hammer! How much damage do you do? Four damage. Alright. That's just enough to at least kill those guys. Um... Oh, I thought he was dead, but he was flailing his arms around for super long for some reason. I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this guy briefly. Well, real quick, more like, because uh, I don't want him doing any fancy swancy stuff. That would just be silly. Um, this guy... Oh, I guess they all drink potions occasionally. Never mind! Well, now I have incentive to murder this guy's face. Uh, because, obviously, he has decided to grow giant, and I don't want any part of that. Please cease and desist, friend. Living. That, that's that's obviously what I'm talking about. <laughs> I, don't, I don't want any, any part of you. I keep getting items that I'm probably never going to use, and it's, it's just wonderful. It's the best thing. Alright, we gotta follow the snake bridge. Very slowly moving snake bridge. Well, I really shouldn't have gone back for that but it is what it is. Come back to me, HP Drain. I need you for sustenance in the future, probably. I, I, uh, probably not, because realistically, I don't think I'm ever gonna need you. Ah, but whatever. You have to stay on the lit panels, by the way, because otherwise you're, you're, gonna, you're gonna get murder-faced. Also, it goes backwards at this point, so do be careful. It's a very sneaky little thing. It's a very sneaky little thing. I, I don't believe you can actually shortcut this in any way, because I don't think it ever gets close enough to the thing. I could be wrong. You might have been able to get it earlier, but I don't actually know. I believe at one point it actually just turns around. Yeah, th it's right here. Yeah, th that, that part's kind of sneaky. But that's also, like, the last bit, so... It's kind of rude! I got myself a card key. All right, collecting cards. I am the card master. It's just like the first Paper Mario game where I'm collecting cards. It's, that's what that game was about. It wasn't about anything else. Certainly not star spirits or anything. That would be silly. Um. So wait, did I already get all the card keys? Because, uh, oh, I must have. All right, I didn't even pay any remote attention to that. I, I thought I was missing one, but I guess obviously I was not. Where did I get the third one? I must have gotten it earlier in the, the place. Well, now that we've gotten those, we can progress to this room. This uh, big old mess of a room. Hey there, friend. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead, for this last bit, I think switch real quick back to Jumpman. Alright, I switched to Jumpman, which means now I can murder this guy. I said, now I can murder this guy. I said, well, that that wasn't exactly what I intended, but it is what it is. Hey there, friend. You are now dead. Sorry. Also, I opted to go multi-bounce instead of uh, the tornado jump for a multi-damaging move. Because uh, the tornado jump honestly wasn't really doing a whole lot, I guess. So, um... Let's see, who can multi-hit easily? That would be Koops, because they're all on the ground. Hello, friends. Goodbye, friends. See you never again, because you're dead. Nice job, Koops. You actually assassinated a dude for once. There's a coin that I will never be able to get. Darn. I can no longer be rich in the world. How much money do I even have? I don't remember. <laughs> I haven't been paying attention to my money so much, so... Uh... Oh, I, I, yeah, I haven't even breached 700, so I don't know. Well, 800, rather. All right, so this uh, conveyor belt puzzle is sneaky because you have to let Vivian take you to the depths of the underworld in order to get past it. It's a very tricky puzzle. Um, all right, so here is this. This is kind of like a, a secret platforming section in disguise. Long Vivian is long. There's an Ultra Shroom way up there. Don't confuse it with a 1-up, because that's not what it is. I don't know. I I find it kind of weird that they um, basically brought in life shrooms as a thing instead of um, 
just making these the life shrooms and I don't know picking a different color for the ultra shroom because that always it's not really something that bothers me it's just it's a little weird you know because they they could have done many things and this is just me being like super optimal for some reason <laughs> um all right well, now I can go over here, which allows me to get in in gear. See, it's, it's a joke, because there's a gear, and I'm going to jump on it eventually. Uh, hopefully not fall into that pipe down there, but uh, these t the timing of these platforms is awful, by the way. I don't understand why they can't make a... Uh, whenever they do platforming challenges like this and then the timing of the two platforms is like mismatched and then they always end up being like these really slow moving platforms it's like that sort of thing works if it's fast not so much if it's slow i forget uh exactly where i need to go with this i don't recall oh i just need to go over here okay yeah i needed to get the card key Oh, there's a guy here. Um, just so he's out of my way, I think I'll go ahead and murder his face. I actually got the spin jump? Okay. Oh, I can't actually select bomb because he's in the air. That's dumb, but all right. So, let me go ahead, get this heart block while I'm here. I'm gonna save also. Alright. Now we just need to make our way. Because uh, unfortunately, this is the part where we have to start over the whole platforming bit. I'm not really sure why they decided to do it this way, but it is what it is, I guess. Because I don't believe there's any way for me to get the card key and stay up there. Kind of a weird design, but I mean, whatever. <laughs> it's just a silly thing where I got a bobbery. Where are you going? I was gonna do that speed up the video song, but then you just careened off the platform in the wrong direction for no real reason in particular. Freaking heck, guy! I know you're trying to find Fun Island, but you're not gonna find it in the creepy space station, okay? You're just not. It doesn't work that way, okay? They're, they're, you don't find islands in space. It's just, it's one of the many rules of space that you gotta understand. I think I can just make this jump to kind of speed this process up. Don't want to fall down there if I can help it, but... Um, I need to get back up on this. I gotta get back up on this. I gotta get back up on this. I am getting back up on this. I gotta back up on this. Okay. Alright. So now, I believe we don't actually want to use the airplane platform, but instead jump on these moving bits down here. Because there's a switch. There is a switch. Yes! A switch for me! Allowing me to climb thusly. Alright. Bobbery, you did it again! What the heck is your problem, dude? <laughs> settle down. Settle down, friend. Just, just settle down, okay? Alright. Now that we got the card key, we can go in here. 